Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined by Justin Rogers. The Lions are having some more injury issues, Justin, heading into the Packers game, if, if you can even believe it. Bill Bentley goes down, Nevin Lawson goes down, James Hedibo doesn't play, Dan Carey doesn't play, Chris Houston's cut in the offseason, and now Bentley's replacement, uh, Bentley's replacement's replacement, um, Cash, Cash is fun, doesn't practice today. Um, not a true nickel, but he can play as he did against Carolina, um, and that's just another blow for a secondary that can't really afford more blows at this point. Yeah, the, the depth is really thinned out at this stage you know with with Vaughn down um, you know he, he was limited yesterday with the ankle gone today so that that implies that it got worse or, or certainly at least didn't get better yeah. um, you know lines are going to, have to find a solution there and, and two options that come to mind obviously are the the free agent they signed this week Danny Gore uh, who who Terrell Austin was asked about if he was ready to contribute and he said we didn't sign him to stand next to me on the sideline they you know they expect him to play he's familiar at least with the terminology the Lions use um, some of the coverages, some of the blitzes, so uh, he he can step in. Then you also have Don Carey, who's back full yep. full participation with his hamstring injury. Um, played nickel last year. I know he's he's listed as safety, but he can play the position in a pinch. Um, you know, I think the bigger concern is is general depth across the board. You know, uh, if if Darius Slay or Rasheed Mathis go down, um, you know, the, a dire situation just becomes that much worse. You know, the Lions just don't have any depth in the secondary across the board right now. Yeah, we got a glimpse of that possible future against Carolina when Slay went out for uh, a brief stretch, and you just think, what the heck are they going to do at this point with all the guys who are already down? The Lions basically, they have Mathis, they have Slay, and they have the guy off the street, Danny Gore, and and that's it. There's there's, there's no healthy backups at this point, not, not if Cassius Vaughn can't play. Um, and so, you know, there's it's a, it's a dire situation. That's, a, that's the best way to put it. I did talk to, to Gore this week, and he said that um, he can play inside, he can play outside. There's versatility there. He's played both throughout his career. He has played some slot um, for Terrell Austin in, in Baltimore. So that'll help expedite, I think, his transition into the scheme. Um, I think he'll be, I mean, he has to play right away no matter whether or not he's really ready. Right. But I do think he'll be ready because of his um, his familiarity with, with both Austin and, and the scheme. It's just a matter of, I'm not sure if he's a true nickel and, and how proficient he'll be because he, he's only played two snaps in the nickel over the past two years, only 14 snaps in his career. So it's not like this guy has a wealth of experience playing the position. I don't think there are a lot of quality nickels out there at this stage. You know, it's you, you're just working with what's out there on the street. They don't have any backup on the roster. You know the guys that they could have drafted probably wouldn't have you know been nickel solutions either. So um, you just can't expect to lose two like that in the first two weeks. So they're they're just in the situation they're in. Confounding the issue for the Lions is if you're going to stop Aaron Rodgers, um, uh, you know it's not a great idea to sit back in coverage probably and just let him pick you apart. You want to get some pass rush, uh, pass rush. But now they're down. George Johnson didn't practice today, nor did Ezekiel Ansah. Um, so they're hurting at defensive end right now too. What do you make of that situation? No idea when when Ansa incurred his knee injury. Um, probably was the last game, but he has not practiced at all this week. That's that's not a good sign. Uh, Johnson was limited on Wednesday, out today. So again, that's another situation where an injury didn't get better, so they didn't feel comfortable. Uh, but that's that's been the Lions' two most effective pass rushers from the edge this season uh, by far. You know, Jason Jones still has been pretty pedestrian. I, I don't feel like Devin Taylor's gotten going yet. So you know if. If either one of those guys can't go, then you got to turn to a rookie in Larry Webster, who, right. you know, had some success against guys that are they're out of the league at this point. Guys yeah. are bagging groceries, third stringers in the preseason, but uh, you know, we don't know what he will offer against you know starting quality offensive tackles in the NFL. I've been impressed with the Lions' pass pass rush through two through two games, um, and, and, and particularly last week against Cam Newton. Cam Newton's not an easy guy to, to sack, and they got him uh, five times, I believe. And so you have to be really pleased with uh, the pressure you've gotten both from, from tackle. You know, Nick Fairley's playing out of his mind. Uh, C.J. Mosey was, was really good last week, I thought. And then a defensive end. The problem is, is that Ansa and George Johnson have accounted for most of that uh, sack production from the defensive end position. Now neither's going. It just confounds an issue for a defense that's just been decimated by injury uh, over the past, really, at the past seven days or so. Not a good time to be injured in those two spots, Kyle. <laughs> Not a good time to be playing against Aaron Rodgers, who right. is, by the way, 9-1 against the Lions in his career. Um, we'll keep tabs on these stories going forward. Only three days left until the game. Uh, for Justin Rodgers, I'm Kyle Mikey. We are MLive. Keep it right here.